what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome please relax sit back and enjoy if at the end of this video you like this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe thank you very much guys for all the subscribers and all the likes i appreciate you guys and thank you for all your support so i'm going to do a quick recap on how to cut the collar for those bomber jackets now for the collar you need your front piece and the back piece you need to measure the neckline of the front and the neckline of the back whatever value you have you divide that by two bearing in mind that the back is on fold and the front also has two pieces to it so if you're having like four inch for the front piece and four inch at the back you know you have like eight at the back eight in front so you're going to add up that number and whatever you have you divide by two so in my own case i had after measuring the front neck and the back neckline i had 16.5 and 16.5 i divided it into two i had 8.25 so 8.25 is what i'll be placing on my pattern paper so i've got myself a pattern paper and i folded it into, into two now <clears throat> like i said you're folding it into two because your back is the um unfold into two and also the front you have two pieces for the front so my pattern paper is unfold and on that i'm going to draw a straight line and after drawing a straight line i'm going to place the value that i got 8.25 on that straight line and i'm going to draw a draw a line upward now after that i'm going to go over to the folded side of my paper and i'm going to take 0 0.5 inch upward and on that 0 0.5 inch i'm going to take 1.5 inch as well so the 1.5 inch is going to be for how wide how wide yes i want my collar to be you can decide to make yours wider than that but i think 1.5 inch should be enough for it so i'll take 1.5 inch from the half inch that i took upward from the line from the first line that i drew which is going to now be the collar so i'm going to just connect from one end of that to the other side of my line so on that other straight line at the open side of my pattern i'm going to transfer that 1.5 inch that i drew at the edge at the close edge of my pattern paper i'm going to transfer it to the straight line that i drew upward on my paper and then i'm going to connect the points together like so so now i've connected it and i have two parallel lines next up i'm going to go over to the other side that is the open side of my collar i'm going to take half inch on one side of the corner and half inch on the other side of the corner and this is just so that we can create that curve that i usually see on the neckline of a bomber jacket so i will just connect the two points together like so and we have created the curve for the collar so it's just as simple as that if you like i said if you want your neck to be wider than this your collar to be wider than this you can go ahead and make it two and a half inches or three inches whatever works for you so next up what you need to do is just to add seam allowances all around the curve so you're adding seam allowance on the curved part of your collar not on the straight side on that straight part you're going to be cutting that on fold because you need your edges to be concealed so you need to cut that part that is not that that you didn't add seam allowance to you need to cut that part on fold when you place it on your fabric so i'll just cut out the pattern and this is what it looks like it's so easy to make and this is just the easiest step so now we are going to move over to the sewing proper of now moving over to the sewing proper i have all of my piece here i have the sleeve the insect i have my band the front and the back panel i have the collar i also have the band for the sleeve so we are good to go with the sewing of this um, bomber jacket also the materials i'll be using to sew this jacket is the ankara fabric i have three yards of ankara fabric i have this long uh, fancy looking beautiful zipper that i'm going to be using attaching to the front part panel i also have the stretchy fabric that i'll be making use of as my band and i have a piece of interfacing that i'll be using to interface the bodies the front and the back body so these are basically all of 
the materials that I'll be needing to achieve the sewing of this jacket. So now that we have all of our materials ready, I also have my lining. So I already mentioned that previously. So I'll go over, place my pattern on my fabric and I'll cut out all of the shapes that I drew out on my pattern, the collar, the neck collar, the band, the sleeve, the main bodies and all of that. And also cut the same shape on my um, lining piece as well. And also, I'll go ahead and iron my interfacing on the main bodies of the front and the back alone. You can decide not to add uh, interfacing to yours, but I just felt like it will give it some kind of thickness. It will add some kind of thickness to the fabric. So I ironed my interfacing on the front and the back bodies. So this is what I have after that. Next up, we're going to go over and start joining all of this piece together so first thing what we need to do is to measure from your neck shoulder to your sh your waist now remember that we are going to be adding a pocket a world pocket to this pattern and i want my world pocket to sit at exactly where my waist is so in between the waistline i'm going to be dividing that into two so half of the world goes up and the other half comes down so that's what i will do i'll place my tape on my shoulder line and mark where 16 inches top which is my waistline and then i'm going to draw a line across that and i'm going to draw my weld the shape of the weld pocket that i'll be adding to this pattern so after drawing out that shape i'm going to go ahead and fix my pocket now i did a separate video on how to sew a world packet how to make a world packet to a bama jacket i won't be showing you that in this video if you want a separate video on that i already did that tutorial i encourage you to go and watch it so you know how to make a world pocket so i've attached the pocket to my jacket the front piece of my jacket and this is what i have after attaching the pocket next up we are going to join the front and the back together and in order to do that you need to place the right sides of the front and the right side of the back facing each other so i'll place the right side of the front and the right side of the back panel facing each other and i'm going to pin it at the shoulder line and also at the side make sure that when you're joining it at the shoulder line you are joining with exactly your half an inch seam allowance and also at the side i took three quarters of an inch so i'm going to also join the sides of those bodies with three quarters of an inch so i'll pin down the shoulder and the sides and then i'll join the shoulder and the sides together so now this is what we have the front and the back has been joined together and it's looking very clean and beautiful next stop is to join the waistband and to do that we are going to attach the insect to the two edges of the waistband so you grab your insect and pin it at the both sides of the waistband that will be attaching to this jacket and when you pin it down you take it to this machine and you're going to run half an inch to both sides of the band just to make sure that the insect is attached to the band after attaching the insect to the band you're going to um, get the midpoint of that band and also the midpoint of your jacket and you're going to pin it all down so you pin your insect from the zip allowance of the front panel of, of one side and also at the zip allowance of the other side make sure that you pin it down correctly and also find the notch for the middle of the jacket and the middle of the band and also um, pin the bottom of them down just so that when you are sewing your your band to your jacket you have an even distribution of the elastic for each part of your jacket so that's basically what i've done i pinned down the middle of my jacket i got the midpoint and i'm going to run a stitch all from all the way from the in one on one side of the insect to the other side of the insert making sure that as you are sewing you are pulling the elastic so now i've attached the waistband to 
my jacket and this is what i have the insect is sitting nicely in front of the jacket and the waistband is also sitting nicely so what i did was i didn't um, attach the whole of the waistband i only attached one side of it i will flip it the other side of the jacket over when i'm about to attach the lining so next i'm going to be placing my zipper now on my insect you know that it's a crease line that is the line that you have where you have the, the fold the fold that you have on your waistband so make sure that you place the edge of your zipper on that fold just to make sure that when you attach your zipper that is where the zipper is going to stop it doesn't move uh, be below or above that folded edge of the band so when i've gotten the right placement i'm going to um, pin down that edge just so that it stays flat and nice and i'm going to pin the rest of my zipper and after pinning that i'm going to sew the zip so basically this is it so that when you flip the the insect over to the other side to conceal this other side of the zipper the edges will uh, come out nicely and perfect so after pinning now down the zipper on my jacket on one side of the jacket i'll sew it and i've also um, completely sewn the zip so this is what i have make sure that your insects they are both matching that that line corresponds with the um, right side and the wrong side as well so after that i'm going to go and attach my sleeve so for my sleeve i will just sew my band to my sleeve and i'm going to attach it to my main body so i'm just opening up the zipper so that you can see how clean it's looking inside and this is what the zipper looks like very beautiful and clean i feel like it's in the zip <laughs> okay so this is it i will go ahead and attach my um my sleeve now and i'll do the same thing that i did for my waistband but in this case i'm going to attach the whole of the waist the band sorry the wristband for the wrist i'm going to attach it before joining the lining to my main fabric so i'll attach my sleeve now and i'll show you what it looks like so i've attached the wristband to my wrist to my sleeve sorry and this is what i have i've also ironed it out and it's looking clean so i'm going to take it to my fabric and i'm going to pin around the armhole and after pinning around the armhole i'm i'm going to just go and sew the sleeve to the jacket and after that we are going to do the same for the other side of the sleeve after joining the sleeve we are going to repeat the same process for the lining so whatever we have done for the main bodies will do the same thing for the lining okay so this is my lining i've also joined the sides together the sleeve and the bodies as well i've joined it and i left three inches on one part of the sleeve just so that when i attach the sleeve when i attach the main bodies and lining i have where i can turn out the fabric inside out so i left that three inch space for when i attach the lining to the main bodies i can bring it out from that space so this is basically it for the collar i'll grab my collar get the midpoint of the collar and also the midpoint of my jacket and i'm going to attach the collar to the jacket first before attaching the lining you can as well just attach the collar and the lining together at the same time but i choose to attach this first the collar first before um, placing my lining on my jacket to attach so what you need to do is to get the midpoint of your jacket and the midpoint of your collar and you place them together with a pin make sure that you hold it down with a pin and take one end of your collar and place it at close to the edge of the zipper teeth don't not on the zipper teeth just at the edge of the zipper teeth and you pin it down you do the same thing for the other side and you're going to run a stitch all the way from one end of the zipper to the other side of the zipper and after that you're going to take your lining and attach it to the neck so for the lining what you need to do is just to pin down the neckline of your lining to the neckline of your jacket right sides facing each other pin down all the way from the neck to one side of the zipper 
from one side of the zipper to the other side of the zipper so you just pin it down like that and you're going to sew from one end of your zipper to the other end of the zipper also making sure that you attach the bottom of your lining to the band so remember that we only attached one side of the band to the jacket so when you're going what you're going to do is you place your lining and you're going to attach it to the other side of your band and also to the other side of the um, insect and you're going to pin that down and flip it over after flipping it over you're going to run a stitch to attach the lining to the jacket from one end of the zipper all the way to the neck down to the other end of the zipper i hope you understand so the lining and the main fabric has been attached i'll just quickly um, trim off some of the excess that i have at the zipper area just so that my zipper is not bulky i don't experience some kind of bulkiness around the zipper area and also the rest of the zipper that is still hanging outside I'm going to cut that out because we would not be needing that as well so I'll just do that now and after that uh, we are going to review all of this hard work that I've put into this jacket to see what it looks like so after trimming off I'll take to the sleeve of this jacket remember that we took three inches space just so that we can turn the jacket inside out when we are done attaching it to the lining so after cutting out all of the excesses that i do not need i'm going to take to the three inches on the sleeve and i'm going to uh, pull out my main jacket from that three inch and to reveal what the jacket looks like so this is what i'm doing now I'm gradually pulling it out. Make sure that you do not forcefully pull this out so that you don't completely rip apart the sleeve. So I'll gradually pull out my jacket just so that I'll show you what um, all of this is going to be. So now that I've turned it inside out, so this is the jacket. This is what it looks like from the outside and from the inside of the jacket this is what i have as well it's looking very clean and beautiful and we just have one more step before we can say we are done with this tutorial so what next is to join the sleeve of the lining to the sleeve of my main jacket and in order to do that we are going to turn this jacket inside out again and we are going to grab the sleeve of the lining and the sleeve of the main jacket and we're going to attach them together so that we can conceal the edges of the sleeve as well so this is what i've done i've i've got ahead to do that sorry i lost that footage but this is what it looks like after attaching the sleeve to the lining sleeve to the main jacket itself i have that here this is what it looks like it's looking very nice and clean as well so guys if you watched up to this point please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and i would also like you to drop your comments in the comment section i would love to hear from you so that three inch um seam allowance allowance that i left to turn the jacket inside out i'm going to do a hand stitch just to close off that space at the sleeve and after that we are done with the jacket so this is the jacket itself looking very clean and beautiful i love the outcome i love the inside that you cannot see any raw edges on the inside i also love how the pocket is sitting on the body of the jacket i love the way the band is also sitting i love the way the collar is sitting I love how the inside is looking fresh and shiny and basically I just love everything about this. If you are going to be recreating your own, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to see what you have. Until I see you in my next video, please stay around. I have much more to offer. I have much more videos to show you. Stick with my channel, subscribe to my channel, recommend this channel to your friends. Until I come your way next time, stay blessed and have a lovely day and remain positive wherever you are. Bye.